time for breakfast? Oh, I think we can manage that. How long have I got? Your flight leaves in an hour and ten minutes. As a matter of fact, I've reserved a table for you in the flight room. Oh, fine, thanks. Been it's, uh, it's been about seven or eight months since you were here last, wasn't it? Well, let's see, last year. Yeah, about eight months. Mm. I suppose you saw the work on the new section when you came in. Hey, it's a long grade, huh? <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Oh, wait a minute. Mm. I got to make a couple of phone calls. You go on ahead in the restaurant, I'll meet you there. Huh? Right. Mommy? Oh, who's taking care of you? Can I speak to Rachel, please? Are you coming to my party tomorrow? I'm sorry, sweetheart, but I can't. Why not? Well, you know, Daddy's traveling. Very sorry about it, but I just can't. I'm gonna send you a very nice present, though. Anything special that you want? Yes. What? A telephone. We got lots of telephones already. Can't you think of anything else you want for your birthday? Something very special? Yes. What? A bush baby. A bush baby? Well, we'll have to see about that. Listen, sweetheart, I want you to tell mommy something for me. Will you remember? Yes. Well, tell mommy that I telephoned, okay? Yes. That I'll try to telephone again tomorrow. Will you tell her that? So many yes. Okay, sweetheart. Now have a nice birthday tomorrow. To have a nice birthday party tomorrow, too, huh? Oh, okay, now take care and be a good girl, won't you? Alright, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, Happy birthday. Lena, how nice to see you again. Hey, Wood, what a wonderful surprise to meet you here. Oh, you're looking wonderful. Thank you. You're looking well, too. This is my good friend, Dr. Haywood Floyd. I'd like you to meet Dr. Kalinin. Uh, how do you do? Dr. Sretnever. How do you do? How do you do? And this is Dr. Andrei Shmislov. Oh, how do you know? Right. I've heard a lot about you. Uh, you sit down. Well, we... Oh, no, no, please. Oh, thank you. Would, uh, would you like a drink, Doctor? Oh, no, thank you. As a matter of fact, I haven't had breakfast yet. Something's meeting me in the restaurant. No, if you don't mind, I'll just sit with you a few minutes, and then I must be off. Are you quite sure? Ah, uh, quite sure, thank you. Well, how is Gregor? Oh, he's fine. He's been doing some underwater research in the Baltic, so uh, I'm afraid we don't get a chance to see very much of each other these days. <laughs> well, when you do see him, be sure to give him my regards. Huh? Yes, of course. Where are you all off to? Up or down? Oh, we're going home. We've uh, just spent three months calibrating the new antenna, Chilenka. What about you? I'm just on my way up to Clavius. Oh, are you? Oh, well, uh, Dr. Floyd, I hope you don't think I'm being too inquisitive, but perhaps you can clear up the great big mystery about what has been going on up there. I'm afraid I don't know what you mean. Well, it's just that for the past uh, two weeks, some extremely odd things have been happening at Clevis. Oh, really? Yes, oh, yes, yes. Well, for one thing, whenever you phone the base, all you can get is a recording which repeats that the phone lines are temporarily out of order. Well, uh, are they having some trouble with their equipment or something like that? Yes. Yes, that's what we thought was the explanation at first, but it's been going on now for the past ten days. You mean you haven't been able to contact anyone for the past ten days? That's right. Oh, I see. Well, there's another thing, Haywood. Two days ago, one of our rocket buses was denied permission for an emergency landing at Clavius. Well, that does sound odd. Yes, yes. So I'm afraid there's going to be a bit of a row about it. Denying the men permission to land is a direct violation of the IAS convention. Yes, of course, of course. Will the crew get back all right? Yes, yes, fortunately they did. Oh, I'm glad about that. Dr. Floyd, at the risk of... 
pressing you on a point you seem reticent to discuss. May I ask you a straightforward question? Well, certainly. Quite frankly, we have had some very reliable intelligence reports that quite a serious epidemic has broken out at Cleary's. Something apparently of an unknown origin. This is, in fact, what has happened. Sorry, Dr. Smith's love, but uh, I'm really not at liberty to discuss this. I understand. But this epidemic could quite easily spread to our base. Uh, we should be given all the facts, Dr. Floyd. Yes, I, I know. As I said, I'm not at liberty to discuss it. Now, are you sure you won't change your mind about that drink? No, I'm positive. Oh, I really must be going. Well, I hope that you and your wife can come to the IAC conference in June. Well, we're going to try. I hope we can make it. If you do, you remember to bring that darling little daughter with you. <laughs> well, that'll all depend on the school vacations and all that sort of thing. But if we can, we will. Don't forget, you got a standing invitation if you ever get to the States. No, of course not. Grigori and I will look forward to seeing you. Right. Well, goodbye, Elena. It's been a pleasure meeting you all. Dr. Schmieslub? Well, whatever the reasons for your visit to Clavius, Dr. Floyd, the very best of luck to you. Oh, thank you. Uh, ladies? Now, yeah, and I'm watching through them. Oh, really, I see. Now,